hello there, App Spy viewers. It's me, your favourite person, Harry. Um, I know we don't always get along, but I think, I think you know, we're alright. We're square. We're solid. Uh, and I'm giving you a quick hands-on of the recently soft-launched Star Wars title, Star Wars Uprising. This is my character, Trump Badoolies. Um, I named her. She is, uh, um, I can't remember what race it is, but same race as Darth Maul. No red skin, though. So let's place the crystals here. It's um, a tappy action RPG. As you can see from there. That was a big explosion there. I just blew up. I'm being chased by the Imperium. Imperials at the moment. Uh, we're about... Five, ten minutes in. Built a character. Um, shot a uh, security guard in the back. And then ran down a tunnel. And that has taken us to here. Um, so I don't know if you know about this game. But it is set after... Return of the Jedi, sort of to fill in the gaps between Return of the Jedi and uh, The Force Awakens. So, if you know anything about Star Wars, then that's cool, congrats. I know a bit. So let's go into some back to, yep, that's a, that's a thing, I've heard of that. This is made by Kabam, who are quite famous for their um, free-to-play stuff. And it is, it's free-to-play. Soft launch now in New Zealand and a few other countries. Um, I'll put in the description to let you know which countries those are. And it's, um, it's, it's quite good. It's very simple. It looks nice. It's got an interesting art style. It's very, 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 very simple. Um, sort of light RPG. As you can see, I'm just tapping once to attack these um, security droids. Um, with my blaster pistol. It seems to be set to stun, but they're blowing up anyway. So let's see what's going on here. There's a button to press to open the door. Um, quite a nice zoomed out view. It's, it's, I mean, it looks quite Star Wars-ian. Is that a word? I think that's probably a word. Should be a word now. Oh, there we go. So yeah, um, uh, it's set in a, um, chunk of the universe has basically been cordoned off by the Empire after the death of Emperor Palpatine. Um, sort of cordoned off so that they don't hear about the death of Emperor Palpatine. That's what the spiel at the start told us. Um, and has become a, a, a hive of scum and villainy. And your character is a smuggler. So we're, those uh, crystals were used to blow up that entrance way there was um, the English stuff I was supposed to be smuggling. I didn't smuggle, it didn't make nice roll there, that's kind of cool. It's quite, you know, for a free to play game, it's quite interactive. There's stuff to do, which is always nice. It's always a worry, sort of, when you hear about a free to play, um, free to play RPG that it's going to be a card battle or it's going to be something a bit icky. Um, well, this one seems to have, it's got, it's got a beat to it, it's got some swagger to it. Let's go down here, shoot that for some reason. Uh, it's another back to tank, so we'll heal up there. Uh, press that button. Seems to be a lift, we'll get in the lift. Mission completed, no, that's okay. So, the lift. Um, it's got a, quite a chunky cartoon art style, it reminds me a bit of... Um, the Clone Wars movie, not so much the cartoon series that came first, um, but that sort of the one with the um, with the hut and the yeah, it wasn't very good, but it looked nice. It was a boss. All right, cool. It's um, it looks like me. Cool. I still think Trump Badoolies um, is is a brilliant name for a Star Wars character, and. I can't. I expect she'll be canon by the time J.J. Abrams has watched this video. Because why wouldn't she be? Look at her. She's um. She's got a swagger. Okay, I'm gonna have to shoot him. Oh, that's this guy is kind of a tap and drag there. Oh, oh there it is. Look at Yep. Yeah, that's cool. Shooting some people. That's 
one down here. No, uh oh, a lift. An ominous lift. They're never good. Oh, I bet he's happy. Happy Dap. That's a terrible name. Um, he runs the sector. He's like a crime boss. Apparently he's a lunatic. So that's um that's bad. I would have I would have gone in that lift, but okay, finish mission. And I suspect we're gonna get a screen that tells us how we did. I was right, so some XP there, up to level two. Um more base damage, more base health, that's good. What we want. Any credits. Some stuff that I nicked. So, yep, multiple taps to open those. Oh, a new gun. That's nice. And. Some damaged street punk gauntlets. That's really all I've ever wanted. So, let's continue. Really like the art style. It's a very nice art style. It's like th these loading screens are a bit sort of concept arty, which is cool. Okay, so there's a translation drive there telling me to do stuff. So attempt with portrait. Here's my inventory. So again, it's a simple, simple layout, but it works nicely. It's simple, you know, easy to understand. Doesn't offend me particularly. Some cool street punk gauntlets. So I will uh, leave it there. This has been Harry for Pocket Gamer and App Spy playing Star Wars Uprising. Uh, it's soft launch now, New Zealand and some other countries. And yeah, it's um, it's not as bad as I was worried it was going to be. Let's put it that way. There's um, it's free to play, but I think there's um, it's gonna have. A slightly broader appeal than your average free-to-play um, RPG. So, yeah, you know, maybe have it on your radar. Wait for it to um, wait. Check it out. See what you think. Um, and make sure you come back, join us, subscribe to the channel, hang out with us, be our friend, because that's important. Cheers for watching.